Hello and welcome to Bleeping Fun. I'm gonna show some fossils today again, but I will say I will do a shout out next Friday and I will keep doing that on Friday from there. But with a little change, instead of sharing five channels each week, I will just share one because it simply gets harder and harder to find channels smaller than mine. And that's what I usually would do, smaller channels, to help as much as possible. So, I'll set it down to one per week from next week. And I'm probably going to show some fossils again on Tuesday. But we are getting closer and closer to uh, harvest around here. So, it uh, shouldn't be too long till we go all out on detecting again for a while. Anyway, fossils. I have 23 sea urchins and that thing and this. So let's just go over them quickly here. We have this sea urchin embedded in all this flint and chalk. I think this was the one I hammered the most of it off. It was such a big lump, so I just hammered this out. Yeah, I have this one in some chalk. That's the bottom and that's the top, so it seems to be whole. But um, just uh, a lot of chalk on it. Here we have one looking nice on that side, but it's missing a chunk there and a little bit there and there. That's the bottom. Another one here seems to be pretty much whole, but with flint and chalk on it all over the place here. But the sea urchin is right here. And then we have this one. The top is missing, and here you can see how thick the shell is. That's missing here. You can see there, this is partially uh, chalk and flint. Usually it's like this, just chalk, mainly. But this one does have some flint in it as well. And here we have a bit of it. Sea urchin with a little bit of chalk and uh, flint on it, but yeah, quite a lot of it is missing. <laughs> Here we have actually, this is almost whole. You can see the bottom is there, so nothing there is really missing except small bits. But then there is this over here. So that was another. And here we have another, and that actually looks more flint-ish. Um, actually quite cool looking. And you can see the bottom and the other side there, but chalk and flint on it. Here we have one I6. I think this is whole with a couple of cracks, and it's actually a little hard to see, but the bottom is here with chalk. And then it's not entirely straight, but uh, uh, probably been driven over by a tractor or something. Another one here. And if you see there, it is not chalk. It actually looks like a bit of either an oyster or a seashell or one of those arm feed things I have talked about before. A little hard to judge when it's nothing more than this, but I would guess oyster. Just a little part of it. And then it's of course missing a bit here, sadly. Except that this would have been awesome with that on if it had been whole. Sadly it isn't. Here we have a half. <laughs> sea urchin, bottom, top. Sea urchin, a little bit of flint and stuff. Cut in half. Oh, not cut, but broken in half. Same goes for this. Let's see, this is bottom. But this is not half though, it's just missing a bit and some shell. And 
this is actually mainly missing the shell bit here. And except that, it actually seems to be pretty much whole. And let's see. I am a little unsure, but I actually think this is the bottom. So it would have been like this. This is the outer shell, and this is inside. And I do not know where the bottom of this one is, but uh, there, <laughs> it is a sea urchin. I can see the uh, scale like shell there. And I think the bottom must be this, but again, half sea urchin. <laughs> and here's just the top. Oh, well, maybe not actually. That, mm, that could be the bottom shell bit, but it could also just be a bit of the shell there that I've broken in and stuck. So I'm a little unsure if it's the top or if if that's actually the bottom. But uh, yeah, that, it's a bit of a sea urchin anyway. And here is a small bit. Uh, we can see, I think this is the bottom. And then there is some shell here and some chalk. And this is the inside of the sea urchin. Again, half of sea urchin. But this actually looks quite nice from this side. <laughs> and interesting how some of them actually look inside, right? Here we have a hole, except just those two bits missing, but I wouldn't count those as saying it's not whole, because if you see it like this, it's fine. It's just the bottom there. So that's awesome. And I think we have another here. Yeah. yeah. A couple of cracks, but yeah, and a little bit there. Except that hole. This one I find interesting. You know, not much stock on it, but there is a little bit. But then that, and you can see a hole going inside, so it's actually hollow in there. Which I think is pretty cool. And this. Also see it, That's the bottom. <laughs> Look how it is. Uh, yeah, how it looks now. It would have looked something like this. See, ah, well, alive, of course. A live version of this, but whole, like this is 60 to 65 million years ago. It does not now. But it definitely looks like some water have been um, now almost sending the uh, chalk in there. Then we have one of these worm wave thingies that I have also been talking about before. Not much special about that. And some sea lilies. Oops, drop one. There we go. You can see this one and this one are from a beach. The rest here is from uh, Chalk Quarry. So, yeah. That was, um, that was all the fossils I wanted to show today. Uh, I hope you find it interesting. And as I said, I will show Fossils Tuesday, next uh, this coming Tuesday. Uh, and I will be doing a shout out of one channel on Friday. So if you know about a channel that you want me to give a shout out, please share it. If not, I'll have to go and find one. Anyway, that was all I wanted to do today. Thanks for watching and keep having some bleeping fun.